Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is common bass amplifier. Talking about the common bass amplifier, its input node is emitter terminal and output node is the collector terminal. The bass is basically grounded, right? So let's draw the AC equivalent circuit. For designing of AC equivalent circuit, we have to replace the capacitors with short circuits. So here I am replacing the capacitor with short circuit and the DC supply that is VCC is also disabled. So let me disable this power supply. So let me short it. Now here the resistance is R1 and R2. Carefully observe this. This part is grounded and this is also grounded. So the resistor R2 is also shorted. In the similar way this part is grounded and this part is also connected to ground. So the resistor R1 is also shorted. Right. So let's draw the AC equivalent circuit. So that's the AC equivalent circuit of this common base amplifier. Now here you can see that this is the collector terminal, this is base and this is emitter terminal, right? So the emitter terminal, we have connected the resistance RE which is the emitter resistance and this capacitor is shorted and here the resistance RS and input VS. So here I have connected the resistance RS and input VS. In the similar way, the base is directly grounded and these two resistances are also shorted. So the base is directly shorted to ground, right? Now, let's go to collector terminal. The collector terminal, the RC, which is the collector resistance, is connected to uh, this ground and here is the load resistance. Both are connected to parallel, right? And here we are having the output voltage. So that's how we have drawn the AC equivalent circuit. Now here you can see that both these resistances are also connected in parallel. So we can make the equivalent resistance of these two parallel resistances. So here I am naming RL dash for the parallel combination of RC parallel to RL. Now let's draw the H parameter model of this circuit. So here we have to replace this BJT with H parameter model. So that's the H parameter model here. This is the base terminal. This is collector terminal and this is emitter terminal. Let me compare the AC equivalent circuit with this H parameter model as follows. So here you can see the base is directly connected to ground, right? Similarly, in H parameter model also, the base terminal is directly connected to ground. Is it clear? Now, the emitter is connected to the resistance RE, which is emitter resistance and also RS and input supply VS. Here also, this emitter terminal is connected with resistance RE, which is emitter resistance and then in parallel with RS and input supply VS. Clear? Now, the collector terminal is connected to RL dash which is the parallel combination of RC and RL and here at the RL dash we are having the output voltage V0. In the similar way the collector terminal is connected to RL dash and here also the output voltage is V0. So that's how and that's easy the circuit is. Now let's calculate the current gain. The current gain is nothing but the ratio of output current to input current. So here the output current is the load current which is IL and input current is the emitter current which is IE. Right? Now this IL 
is nothing but HFE IB but it is taken in opposite direction so we are using the negative sign. So I, IL is minus HFE IB for emitter current apply Kirchhoff's current law at emitter node. So here is the base current coming inwards and here the emitter current coming inwards and here HFE IB coming inward. So according to Kirchhoff's current law IB plus IE plus HFE IB is equals to zero because all the three currents are coming at this node right. So from here we get IE is equals to 1 plus HFE into my IB okay just rearranging the equation right and from here we can easily calculate current gain which is just the ratio of IL and IE. IL is minus HFE IB and IE is minus 1 plus HFE into my IB. Just cancelling the terms we get the current gain is HFE upon my 1 plus HFE. From here we can conclude that that common base amplifier has unity current gain because this value is almost approximately equal to 1. So this is the main advantage of common base configuration that it has unity current gain. Now let's calculate the input resistance. Input resistance is basically input voltage to input current. Input voltage is nothing but VI voltage and input current is emitter current. So here applying KVL in this particular loop. So here the KVL will become here is the base current. So IB into my HIB right which is the base resistance and here is the voltage VI. So our KVL equation becomes IB HIB plus VI. From here we can calculate the value of VI which is minus IB into my HIB. Now we have to calculate the emitter current which we have calculated earlier which is IE is equals to minus 1 plus HFE into my IB. So just substituting the given values IB IB get cancelled out we get RI is equals to HIB upon my 1 plus HFE. So from this we can conclude that the input resistance is smaller. Now let's calculate the voltage gain. The voltage gain is defined as the ratio of output voltage to input voltage, right? So let's calculate the output as well as input voltage. So output voltage is nothing but IL into my RL dash, right? And input voltage we have calculated earlier which is VI is equals to minus IB into my HIB. So let's substitute the given values. So that's how our voltage gain becomes which is IL RL dash upon my HIB into my IB, right? Now we also know that this IL is equals to minus HFE into my IB because this is the same current flowing in opposite direction. So that's why the sign is negative, right? Let's substitute the value of IL in that particular equation. So from here IL becomes From here we get AV which is equals to HFE RL dash upon me HIB. Now let's calculate the output resistance. Okay, the output resistance is basically the resistance which is seen between the output node and ground. Okay, and there are few steps to follow to calculate the output resistance. I have also discussed these steps in my previous videos 
also here i am also discussing okay so step number 1 is disable the signal source present in the input circuit and then disconnect the lo load resistance rl dish now assume that a voltage vx is applied across the output port and current ix is also flowing into the output terminal so r not is given by vx upon me ix so let's apply these steps in our circuit so that's the circuit becomes here i have disconnected the source voltage and also connect disconnected the load resistance and connected a voltage vx from which the current ix is flowing so that's how our circuit becomes now let's apply kvl in this particular loop right so before applying the kvl these two resistances are in parallel so we can say that rs dash is equals to re parallel to rs right now applying the kvl it will become iv hib plus rs dash ie is equals to 0 right now we know that this ie is equals to minus 1 plus hfe into me ib right so let's substitute this value in that particular equation from here let's calculate ib which comes out to be taking ib common hib minus 1 plus hfe is equals to 0 from here we get ib is equals to 0 now this ix current is nothing but hfe ib so here we can say that ix is equals to hfe ib but our ib is zero so ix also becomes zero right now the output resistance is given by vx upon me ix but ix is zero so output resistance is infinity from this we can summarize the common base amplifier as it has unity current gain which is slightly less than 1 and it is having a large voltage gain small input resistance and large output resistance So that's all for the today's video. In the next video, I'm going to compare all these three amplifiers. So please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.